Hello guys and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today we will cover a troubleshooting method to understand silent packet drop on a Palo Alto network firewall. We will use this diagram for the example where 172.16.3.100 is trying to reach 42.42.42.1 without any luck. So first, let's have a look to the shell and see if an existing session is active for this client-server communication. We'll use the show session command. Obviously, the first packet from the client never reached the server. Otherwise, we will have a session with our last command and we have no active session at this stage. So what we'll do now is request PanOS to count every packet between those two hosts and provide the description regarding how they were handled. For your information, this is 100% safe in terms of firewall and CPU because we don't enable debug with this method. We only count packet. The following command will set up and activate a filter for our traffic. Now we will have a look to the counters of this particular flow, but only in a situation where a drop occurred. The command has to be typed multiple times to get an accurate delta. Well, this is very interesting. We can see many drop with the reason session setup, no the session zone from forwarding. Look like we found something interesting. The firewall is dropping the packet because it is unable to find the destination zone. One of the reasons for this can be a routing issue. Let me explain why by using the diagram. Because the firewall cannot locate the proper route to forward traffic, it doesn't have any clue about what is going to be the egress interface for the traffic. And without an egress interface, no destination zone can be allocated. So the traffic cannot be inspected against security policies and the firewall will just silently drop the packet. Back to the shell, let's verify if we have a route for 42.42.42.1. Well, look like we found who's guilty here. I'm going to create a static route in the background and see if my problem is solved. Okay, my route has been created. Let's do a route lookup one more time. All good here. And let's see if session get created. Well, this is much better. The packet have now all the mechanism needed, including route and policies for the traffic to flow normally, problem solved. So again, this method will help you to spot most packets drop issue on PanOS. And it is 100% safe in terms of CPU usage. I hope you enjoyed the video and please share and subscribe if you liked it.